Okay. And welcome to Mother Go to Row, guys. Uh, I know, Mother. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm back. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys are having a fantastic ass day. Ashe. Um, and I hope this message resonates with you on a soul level, okay? If you are new, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back, beloved, all right? Um, today it's going to be a different reading again. It's not going to be a normal tour reading, guys. It's going to be the significance of spiders, okay? I know you like the, come on now, why the fuck are you talking about spiders, spiders? But they're... pretty pretty significant to what we're going through right now in regards to transformation and i've been seeing a lot of spiders so you know when divine sends me messages i have to study it to figure out decode it to try to figure out what god is trying to tell me so and so with doing that i broke down so many significant messages very important messages um in regards to this spider that i want to relate to you guys so i want to thank you so so much for being here again and without further ado guys we're going to jump into the reading okay so spiders all right spiders are rule rule scorpio okay that's the um zodiac sign that i can relate closest to a spider okay um so make sure that you check your house placements to see where scorpio lies in your house with how Scorpio rules and just do research on it all right try to um understand yourself more Ashe. all right so what does this spider represent all right so the notes that I took down death past present masculine and feminine and rest and exertion all right so if you don't know the spider is a representation of the divine feminine okay um majority of spiders especially if they are a feminine spider a woman <laughs> like i don't know how to say that okay uh um a feminine a spider with feminine energy they're way more big they're way bigger than the masculine spider okay so what is this spider trying to say to you so are you seeing a lot of spiders that's the first question guys okay are you seeing a lot of spiders? If so, what kind of spiders are you seeing? Are you seeing webs? Are spiders biting you? Are you having dreams about spiders? Because that can also tie in in regards to your journey with, you know, on your journey of understanding the spider. I'm so bad at this. I'm going to get better, guys. I promise. But I like live because it feels better. It feels natural, okay? Um. So, yeah. What is the spider saying to you? So, do you have the power do you have the power to temper yourself do you have the power to have confidence with humility and is your do you have is your aggression built off of compassion or is it built built off of humility because there's a difference okay um what do you want to happen all right how do you get to where you want to go how do you get to the top without trampling over other people okay because the spider is the representation of the number eight. Eight in numerology is, um, it breaks down to abundance, prosperity, strength, courage, but especially money, okay? So if we were to take money out of the equation when um, referencing the spider, what else comes with the spider other, other than money? So who would you be? What assets would you have how will people value you if you didn't have money? If you didn't have materialistic things to keep them happy or satisfied? Okay? So if you are seeing a lot of spiders, it's a warning. Not anything scary. Okay? And it doesn't have to always necessarily mean that it's a warning. But what I'm referencing right now is in regards to a warning. Okay? So you have to be mindful of how you are treating people, how people are treating you. Um... The same thing goes back to Mars energy. That's why I'm seeing spiders. It's all about death and rebirth, transformation, okay? Learning what you value, all right? Um, internal power, as the spider represents. Because even though the spider is compactive and it's very small, its power is massive. Did you know that um, a spider is like built like a hydraulic system? They cannot push their legs outwards, but they can pull them inwards. 
So that's why when they die, their legs curl up. All right, so imagine how much strength it would take for you to walk and have to push your legs outwards. I have to come up with some type of way so your body can function and go into a flow with you being there physically and internally because it's all about consciousness, all right? When you were a baby, you, you didn't naturally know how to walk. You had to learn, all right? So the, t the spider is here to teach you wisdom because the spider is wise so wise guys okay um keep in mind that go two guys this is a very significant point even though you might possess the power that you feel you may need you might not have all the people that you need to have to push that that empire further if that makes sense okay so you have to be mindful of collaborations people you're supposed to Anchor on to other people so that you can draw their ideas closer so that you guys can build together, build a stronger foundation. Now, if you are always um, Aries energy, wanting to be in control and dominant, then are so powerful to the point where you don't want to heed to anybody else's advice or even be grateful that anybody wants to lend you advice, then you get... Cocky, the best way I can say it. There's no humility there. It's just all about I am. All right, which is a great way to carry yourself, but you have to keep in mind that everything's connected. So even if you get to where the to the place where you feel you're supposed to be, you're gonna always want more. Okay, so the the spider is teaching you also about simplicity. Okay, how to be moderate. All right, not want for so much and be grateful for what you do have, okay? Because another um, significant aspect of the spider is that if it is a spinner, a web spinner, it will literally eat its web. So the beautiful web that it created, it will start all over, eat that web and start a new web because it has the faith to take the leap forward do you know how far spiders can jump without being able to push their legs out like that's weird right no that's the law of the universe it's a flow okay guys um you get what you want but ultimately you end up losing them so make sure that you are in alignment with people places and things Okay, you will gain ultimate power, but you not you must not forget to balance them out. So if you are in the pursuit of power right now, guys, just keep in mind that there's a balance to it too. So you can be extremely powerful, but how powerful are you if you don't have love? You feel me? So make sure that you're not focusing on one thing for so long that you lose track of everything else that you have to take care of okay most spiders if not all have eight eyes okay and the spiders that spin webs are mostly blind guys they are nearsighted they're blind not all spiders build webs but the ones that do they're blind so in order for them to have a connection with a masculine or a feminine, which majority of the time the feminine energy is weaving the web, the masculine has to come onto her web and dance in order for her to feel the vibration, to, want, to let him in, to mate. So be careful with the people that you are choosing to procreate with, okay? If you're seeing spiders right now and you're trying to create with someone, procreate, Maybe that's a warning that you should take heed to, okay? Because not everyone dances on the same frequency as you, all right? And if this, the the male spinner, um, web spinner does not keep dancing for the queen, as I should say, the feminine energy, then she doesn't recognize his vibration and she eventually eats him, okay? So it's like, 
What do you want as the masculine and the feminine? You have to take charge and sometimes you have to be a little assertive, especially in regards to what you're building, your foundation. Okay? Um, now is not the time to gather all the evidence. Instead, trust the universe and simply by just trusting the vibration that you feel. Everything is a vibration. So if something feels off, it's off. Okay? If you're feeling a vibration of love, it's a vibration of love. Let's get out of the idea of second guessing our intuition. Because ultimately your intuition is a fucking superpower. It's the only thing that is authentic within your being. Truly authentic. Because it is the only thing that cannot be tam tampered with. It's your intuition. Okay, guys? So that's also another significant meaning behind the spider, all right? Um, Claire sentience, all right, is very uh, another um, um, significant meaning behind this um, spider is the ability to trust your guts, feeling the strength of the energetic vibrations through your own body and emotions. Okay, control your level of empathy. All right, you are like a human fucking emotion detector. So if you are around people and they're throwing your vibe off, remove yourself from them. Okay, because people can be energy vampires. And they can suck all your fucking energy because spiders suck too. They do. They bite as well. And majority of them are, ven are venomous. They, they carry venom. Okay, so you have to be mindful. Especially if you have the gift of being clairsentient. Which means you have a... You can be in a room and feel when somebody is, is, is sad. You can be in a room and feel when somebody has had a bad day. You can know what somebody's going to say before they even say it. You can be extremely sensitive and empathetic, an empath, okay? So you have to be in tune with your intuition at all times, okay? Because you never know what's around you at all. Never forget that you are a human emotion detector. Even if somebody is saying that you're not right in regards to what you feel, if you feel it, believe it. There's no second guessing it. We got to get out of the... Like I said, again, it's getting redundant, but literally, we have to get out of that that energy of second-guessing what God is telling us to do. That's another, that's another reason why you're seeing spiders, if you are seeing a lot of spiders. They're trying to protect you from venom, from people that just want to suck from you. Okay? All right? Six signs that you um that you are clint um clairsentient, all right, an impact or impact. One, strong intuitive feelings about people, all right? Two, you feel when you're not alone, which means you feel ghosts, not ghosts, sorry, entities and in, in anything. You can feel it. All right, and also keep in mind, guys, the scary movies is not true. It's false, it's fraud. Any spirit that comes around you is a spirit guide for you to connect to all right it is not of lower energy because god would not allow that unless you're calling upon a deity or anything like that but that's another story all right so if you do feel something around you connect with it hi it will talk back through numerology synchronicity trust me you'll get the messages that you're seeking for all right three you know when someone is truly not okay you just have that gift. It's from your intuition. Four, people believe you are sensitive. So people can may, people may think that you're pussy, but you're really not. Excuse me. But you're not. Okay? You just have a great deal of temperament. Temperance. You can be in and out. You're very transparent. You understand. Because you have a strong intuitive gift. Okay, guys? Five. Rapid mood swings, sometimes intense, all right? But that's... That's... I'm sorry, guys. That's only because you're being affected by all the energies that are around you, okay? And six, but not least, emotional movies really get to you. So if you cry when a dog dies and shit on a movie, you're, that's because you have the gift of being clair clairsentient. So make sure that you research that and look into that so that you can... So that you can protect yourself from that energy, okay? Trust the vibration. Movement is your guide right now, guys, okay? Did you know that the, me the male web spinner dances? Oh, I said that already, okay? So love is a vibration that you feel, okay? 
if upset or thrown off I'm sorry guys so if the the feminine energy is thrown off of her energy of off of her her normal vibration of course it's, she's going to she's going to go ape shit it's the natural law of cause and effect <laughs> so if your person is continuously to do if, if they're if they have a habit of doing that over and over again to you remove yourself Because energy fluctuates all the time. It's never constant. So just because you're feeling that way now does not mean you're going to feel that day that way in a couple of days from a couple of days from now or a couple of hours from now, guys. So your journey is your solo journey of self healing or ascension, whatever. You don't have a time frame on it. Take your time. If that's not what you want, don't settle. If that's what you want, fight for it. It's all about you. Okay, it's all about you taking the moment to look at the web that you created. Is it a web of self-destruction or is it a beautiful ass web? Because everything is self-imposed. What you think is what you attract. All right, so be mindful of your, your, your thought patterns. All right, and align to your own vibration, period. Alignment is a must. It's no other way around it. All right? The spider tells you to pay attention. All right? Your eyes are not trustworthy worthy at this time. It's all about intuition. Intuitively, what do you feel? Not what do you see. What do you feel? Because you can cause yourself to go into some type of illusion. And when you, what you dream is like you're um, like Piscean, Pisces. They live in a, a constant dream state. And sometimes they can be in that dream state for far too long where they they're not living in the present. And they that movie with um, Adam Sandler, he had that remote click. Go watch that. You're there, but you're trying to be there where you, where you want to be. But it's like you haven't even taken the steps to get there yet. Build. Do you know how long it takes a spider to build their web? Do you know how much faith? The spider has to be able to have to have to build a web without being able to see and trusting that whatever they're building is going to come out beautiful. It's all about faith. It's all about divine guidance. It's all about connecting to source, whatever your source may be. Ashe, make sure you're making plans that nourish you and make sure that you make nourishment a priority, guys. Self-care is top fucking, it's tier, it's top tier. If you don't love yourself, nobody else will, okay? That's another message that the spider is trying to send you, okay? All spiders milk, make silk. Did you know that? All right? Not all we webs, but all of them make, make silk, all right? And what's interesting about silk from a spider is that it is the most natural, strongest material on this fucking planet. In Gaia, guys. It's two times stronger than steel, if weighed. Do you know how amazing that is? And a spider is like this big. Literally, the faith of a mustard seed can move a mountain. Do you want to move it? Do you have the faith of a mustard seed to know and trust that God is guiding you towards your life purpose? Do you need all the facts? No, you don't when you're creating something powerful. Especially when it comes from yourself. Silk. And then to be able to eat that web and say fuck it and start all over again, knowing that they're going to be able to create a bigger, beautiful web. Like it's it's all a misconception sometimes, but you have to change your mindset. That is what the spider is telling you. OK, guys. Um, enormous ca um, um, caps. It's like so much internal power that the spider possesses. And that's what it's trying to show you. How much strength and courage that you have within that is ready to be released. But you have to have the power to release it. Nobody else can do it for you. Only you can do it. Only you can tap into your intuition. Only you can connect to source. Only you can connect to the higher power. No tarot reader, no spiritualist, no church, no none of that can connect that to can connect you to source. But you. It's soul school for the human vessel. 
build your soul so that your, your flesh can be stronger. I know y'all try to kill, kill spiders like sometimes and they don't die. You know how thick their skin have to be? It has to be. To be that powerful and possess that much power, you're the same. As above, so below. As within, so It's the same concept, dog, okay? The web represents the potential of our thoughts, our abilities to create our own reality. Like, it's just... Just send your thoughts out to the ethers, guys. And watch what the universe will do for you. Watch what the universe will bring. Just send your thoughts directly to source. Sometimes I have to look up and say, God, hands like this and everything. What are you, what do you want me to know? Look down, see a spider. Look down, see an ant. Look away, see a butterfly, guys. Like literally, it's all in regards to your way of thinking. What you are is what you attract. The law of attraction. Okay, guys? Um, let me see. Most humans are afraid of spiders, but it's merely because of their wisdom. All right? It can be extremely heavy insight. When you see a spider, it freaks you the fuck out. You're like, the fuck is that? You trying to examine it and this shit when it die? Like, damn, that nigga had eight ass type of energy, you know? Look deeper. Look beyond the veil. Look beyond the sun. Shit, sometimes you got to look after it after it dies and shit so you can feel comfortable. Look at yourself after you're going through that transformation. So that you can be comfortable in your new self. Because a lot of us are like growing up, but we're not. We're getting older, but we're not growing up. We're still in those teenage frequencies. It's time to shift. It's been past due. Two, two, two. All right. Are you running away from love? Are you running away from your mother? That's another significant meaning behind the spider. Mother are feminine women issues. Feeling inadequate of being loved by a woman. All right. The web also represents what we have created for ourselves. Look at your web. Look at your fate. Look what you've woven for yourself. All is connected. All is you. Guys, I have pages and pages on this. All right? Everything and everyone should not be treated as your stepping stone. All right? How can you get to the top without being codependent? All right? The spider represents the divine feminine. More women are empowered right now. All right? Make sure that you are being expressive and creative. All right? The spider, the feminine spider is way bigger than the male spider, as I, I said. All right? So make sure that you are not being dominated or manipulated by a woman. All right? Are you, as a woman, making women, people in general feel in, inadequate, insignificant? Are you guilt-tripping people? To be there for you, choke, check on your self-esteem. It's all my feminine energies. That's another representation of the spider, okay? It's time to stop being afraid of women also. It's time to set yourself free by simply forming the act of forgiveness, guys. All you have to do is forgive whoever hurt you. If it's a feminine that hurt you, forgive them. So that you can accept love and accept feminine energy because you need it. Duality. A balance. All right? Numerology of the number eight, all right? Harmony and balance, abundance and power, the little holy number, lucky number in China. It means prosperity and it is strength and courage. It's also ruled by the zodiac sign of Capricorn. The planet is Saturn and it represents luck, all right? Double joy, especially if you see double eights, okay? And it is the sacred language of of the of the universe all right oh also guys 
Spiders cannot digest solid foods, so make sure that you have a healthy diet, all right? If you're trying to lose weight, change your diet. If you feel off balance, change your diet, okay? Take the necessary steps to build a foundation, a solid foundation for yourself, okay? Spiders are also naturally shy. So what is your fear? It might be hindering you from your ultimate success. Get out of that box, all right? Figure out a way to express yourself and get rid of the anxiety and calm the fuck down. Let it go, all right? Pay attention to people who are energy vampires, emotional vampires, drama queens, poisoning energy, like just anything toxic. Pay attention to it, okay? All is connected, all is to you, okay? Spiders can also regrow their legs, all right, if they have been detached. So make sure that you have a backup plan in all that you do and get the fuck going. Because even if you lose something, something else will be gained in the process. All right, so don't... Don't get stuck in fear, guys, okay? And did you also know, last but not least, guys... Did you also know that the spider's blood is blue, which is linked to the throat chakra, all right, which, uh, which ultimately represents our authentic self, our true self. So now is the time for you to step out there and show the world who you are. Stop being afraid. Take heed. Eliminate what needs to be thrown away so that you can welcome in the new because the new earth is here, all right, and the spider is definitely trying to tell you things so i hope that this message resonates <laughs> with you on a soul level guys i did the best that i could in regards to the representation of the spider um i'm going to pull a card for this message i'm going to take this whole stack so we have the two of wands which is being in and out having more than one option so don't get stuck in just the mundane like you Always know that you have more than one option. There's always several ways to go. You don't have to get stuck in one one, one way of thinking. All right? And everybody that you meet is supposed to help you on your path. Regardless if you have a fallout with that person, forgive them. All right? So that you can move forward with the chariot. Cancerian energy is here. It's very significant. Get in control of your emotions. All right? Emotional roller coaster. All right. You may be experiencing that because you're not aligned with your true authentic self. You may be allowing other people to run your fucking show. Get out of that. All right. We have the daughter of Pentacles. All right. So right now, make sure that you are building on your projects and you are taking your time. It's going to take time. You're building for longevity. Point blank, period. You're, you're going towards the sun. All right, numerology is here. You're being guided. All right, happiness, joy, abundance. All right, but make sure that you're protecting yourself in the fucking process. Nine of Wands. You've come a long way. And you're going so much further. But right now, you have to draw healthy boundaries. Point blank the fuck, period. So, don't be so over-dominant. But make sure that you are standing up for yourself. All right, and protecting your web. All right, and don't carry those burdens with you. There's no room for them. Now is the time for you to eat that web so that you can move and weave another one. You're going towards the sun. And even though you may feel like people are sinking your boat, they will soon disappear when you choose yourself. Okay, I love you guys all so, so much. I wish you nothing but the best of love, lights, and luck on your journey. Journey. <laughs> and I say beautiful people, okay? Bye.